All right, guys, for this effect, we're going to use uh, one selection. So let's go with the, let's go with the two of clubs. We're also going to use two cards to help find the two of clubs in a second. That'll be the Jack of Clubs and the Jack of Spades. We'll leave those on top for now. Cut that somewhere into the middle. So the idea of this whole effect is to make this two clubs vanish and appear between the two jacks. And it happens very quickly, very visually. So keep your eyes on the two of clubs. Here we go. Two of Clubs has traveled through the deck and appeared between the two jacks. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. All right, so today I'm gonna teach you something really cool, but first I wanna talk about something I received in the mail. This is a package I received from Cartamundi. Cartamundi is a card manufacturer who's competing with USPCC and Expert Playing Card Company. And I put out a video recently comparing Expert Playing Cards versus USPC playing cards and kind of talked about why I prefer USPC cards. They then reached out to me on Twitter and asked if they could send me what they believe to be the new standard of magic and cardistry playing card finish. So today for the first time, you guys are going to get an exclusive look at these playing cards. We're gonna look at the stock, quality, the finish, the design, and everything that has to do with these cards and compare them to my favorite playing cards, the United States Playing Card Company. On a side note, I just signed up for Cameo, an app that allows creators to send uh, shout outs by video to fans. So basically if your brother's a fan and it's his birthday and you want me to wish him a happy birthday, you can go ahead and submit that through Cameo. I left the link below. It's also a great way to help support this channel if that's what you're looking to do. But today we're gonna be talking about playing card. Could these really be the next big thing in playing card manufacturing? Well, let's have a look and find out. All right. Copag, since 1908, this is the package that I received in the mail. Cartamundi, which is the playing card company that sent me these, not intended for resale purposes. So this is basically just for me. Right here, it says true linen finish. Copag, Copag, made for you, by you. That's some nice little marketing there, isn't it? Oh yeah. Let's open it up. Inside, uh, we have the two decks of cards, these little cool little flaps, but we also have a little semi-personalized message. Let's go ahead and read that. It says, hey Chris, you've been carefully selected to be one of the first to receive this highly limited package of our new playing card line aimed at cardists and magicians. After two years of development and close collaboration with the expert cardists and magicians, we are proud to present Copag 310, sporting the exclusive True Linen B9 finish for longe longevity supreme handling and the ultimate flourish developed in the pursuit of mastery inspired by you. This finish is the result of intense R&D, which is research and development, and more than 300 prototypes tried and tested. This is to create a deck ready to use straight out of the box. The soft but springy nature of the cards and the smoothness of handling lie in a carefully constructed balance between stock, coating, linen finish, and cutting tailored to your needs. We believe that the pursuit of mastery is a collaborative journey, and we would therefore love to receive your honest feedback on Copag 310 bold claims and statements. However, here's here's the thing before I get into this. I mean, everybody everybody has different tastes in playing cards. So I don't I don't understand how you're going to have one deck that everybody's going to love. They seem to say that they have one sort of deck to rule them all. One deck to rule them all. Let's give it a go. So here's the box design. That's probably the back floral pattern. Reminds me a little bit of aviators, I guess. I gotta be careful when opening these. God, here we go. My pet peeve right here. You'd think with all the research and development they'd find a way to make these easier to open. I mean, everybody, everybody who makes playing cards. Maybe it's just me. See, this always happens. That's right here. That's, you wanted my feedback? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so far, it's not a great start for you guys. Uh, okay. Literally, this, this deck is just molting in my hands. Okay. More plastic. No, this is now uh, also a cellophane. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little tab. Look at this tab. Why don't you put this tab on the outside of the deck as well? Look at this. Or maybe it was there and I just missed it. First of all, I notice these are really thick. Look at the thickness difference. I'm quite anxious to like try these out. Here I go. Oh wow, okay. Oh my goodness. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Wow, this is super interesting. Take a look. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. I got a macro lens here. You can kind of see that. Look at the linen finish on the face and the back of the cards. I mean those little lines that are going through, you see that? Now, I haven't seen linen finish 
done like this ever. You can kind of see all the lines everywhere. Oh, we got a double backer. Okay, beautiful. We got a blank card. You, you feel that on the cards. They feel, I've never felt anything like this. This does not feel like plastic. It feels like cardboard, but the finish is so textured. You, you feel it. I don't know how else to say it. Here are the Jokers. They are identical. Do we have a reveal on them or anything? Maybe a little surprise? No, that's okay. This is the Ace of Spades. Are they marked by the way? No marking, not invisible anyways. Here are the pips. Pips are interesting, I like them. Very thick, very thick indices. The numbers are very, very thick. The jack, the queen, the king, pretty standard. Obviously not bicycle standard, but this isn't United States Playing Car Company, but they've made an effort to make them standard. King, queen, jack of clubs, ace of clubs. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie. These feel phenomenal. All right, I'm not paid to say this. I'm giving my honest review. These feel incredible. I, I, Let's try to let's try to shuffle them here. See what happens. All right. So not necessarily traditionally cut because, as you can see, I'm having a hard time weaving that in. So let's try it from the other end. They seem to weave much better that way, which is completely fine. They feel definitely broken in already, but it, it, it's so bizarre to have cards that are actually thicker but softer. Let's test these out a little bit. I really like this. I really like these cards. I think definitely soft. They feel good. Will they withstand the test of time? That's something to be determined because already you can kind of see like the cards are warping a little bit. That's just like a little bit of wear and tear. It definitely takes some getting used to. Against USPCC cards is that I still prefer United States playing cards. Um, and I think that just has to do with the fact that I'm so used to these. I wanna know your thoughts about these playing cards. Not just about these, but about extra playing cards, United States playing card company. Which are your favorite? Do you play with plastic cards? Do you even care about the finish? Let me know below, I would love to hear your thoughts. But now, let's get into what I'm gonna teach you guys. All right guys, this is a very simple effect, but it looks kinda cool, it looks magical, and it's very easy to do. All you're going to need, you're going to need a double facer. And a double facer, you can buy that. I left the link below where you can buy a whole pack of different double facers. Uh, lots of tricks you can do with double facer, including the anniversary waltz, which is one of my favorite effects, where the, you have two spectators sign their card and then they fuse into one. This is just an extra little thing you can do with a double facer that I thought I'd teach you today. You wanna to have the card that's going to travel on top of the deck followed by the pair, whatever pair you wanna use uh, to trap that card. And that goes on top of the deck. Two clubs and we got the two jacks underneath that. So once you're set up in this manner, you're going to take that two of clubs and set it up somewhere into the middle of the deck, face up, just like this. Important to get rid of the other cards. This is the nine of diamonds. I've taken it out of the deck and we just get rid of that one completely. We don't want two nine of diamonds showing up. I start off the trick with a face up spread. You can even start it face down if you don't spread too far, because if you spread too far, you're gonna show that. So you can say something like, all right, I'm gonna show you a trick. First of all, I'm gonna have to choose a card. This is where you're choosing the card. Now you can have them choose the card in any manner you would like. I just, I just think it's fine to just go through and be like, all right, let's grab a random card. Let's say the two of clubs. You turn everything around. At this point, all you're gonna do is a double lift. So whatever double lift you're comfortable doing, so you're gonna show the first jack, you're gonna use this jack to flip around this one. Now all you're gonna do here is put this one on top here and just turn them over. Now you've trapped, you've sandwiched the two of clubs. So again, very quickly, you're going to take a double lift, showing the jack, showing the other jack, laying it on top, and now cutting all of that into the middle. Now you wanna spread the cards face down onto the table like so. Very simple premise, you're just simply gonna tell them we're gonna take this selection and try to make it jump between the two jacks very visually, and it happens very fast. Keep your eyes on the two. As you go here, so you bring your right arm around here, and the second you turn it over, that card disappears. Boom, obviously it's right here. They obviously don't know that, so. And cleanly display the two of clubs caught between the two jacks. So that's, that's a cool little double facer trick. Hope you enjoyed it.
All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, you know, kind of like mixing up the tutorial days, adding some other stuff because I just wanted to kind of keep rolling along and not get stagnant. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Do leave a like if you did like this video. It helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you, uh, actually, I'll be in Ohio next week. I'm bringing you guys to a magic convention. See you then. Peace. <laughs>